things, but when you really play in the game, that mm. would be a different situation for them. Yeah. But the main uh, factor uh, uh, of the issue is, is lack of some experience because they don't exactly know the timing when your opponents will come. Yeah, so let's dive into the first game of our week two. Isidus versus GNG Esports. Again, for GNG, this must be a 2-0 win or they have like no chances left for them to make it to the further stage. Yep. And they have to be aggressive in the early game and the mid game. Mm. And look at the mid lane there. Isidus. They Yoni gain themselves the power to of the mid lane and start to invade the jungle land. Mm. Maybe they can do it straight forward and look at the Genji. They start to strike back and find some damage onto Arta. Arta without the flats is in danger. It's been taken very low. That's something worth mentioning about Faye. He just like keep following Isurus, keep following Arta. Yep. And let's check the blue side. Uh, look at Genji. They went, they went too deep on that, but look at the Dong Tai. Yeah, he used a flash to get close to the enemy and he keep his HP restoring all the time from the Dark Orb. What double kill goes to Dong Huang Tai Yi and this is a 3-0 opening and there's Look even a solo kill! Oh, Pure Pure Whoa! Finally we saw those like because there's somehow a 0 0.3 or 0 0.1 second. 0 0.1 seconds for that. Immune, mm -hmm. right? Immune, and you can Use dodge. That. Yeah. Wow. Actually, you can dodge your damage with your purifies in, in 0, 0, 0. 0.1 seconds for it. And you, you have to use the purify to dodge the damage like you simultaneously. Need yeah, you need to precisely catch the timing. But anyway, like check the opening. Jinji, after they use like they rotate illusion to the mid. Actually, he's playing really well. Mm. Maybe that would surprise the issue is. Uh, what kind of a surprise is? What? I don't, I, I don't know. The, the, the pure fight is like that way. And look at the top land. The issue is getting himself another kill from the, the JY. And that I want to highlight the food. Like he, um, uh, he just target at JY twice by using his rod. Yep. For him back twice. Target on the sideline. They want to gain some gold lead on the sideline to help Alvin RJ play the split push. Because Yusuf is already like their upper side was in deficit, right? The first blue bus was taken away by their opponents and also there was a full zero opening. Mm -hmm. So for Yusuf, they want to make something happen. Yeah, and look at the blue buffs, Genji, they come again. So that would be a disaster in the blue side. Yeah. Because actually there's something worth mentioning is that Genji's always have numbers in advantages, right? Lady Sun come all the way one from the bottom lane and try to aid. Yeah, flash, flash. Well, second contract and connect with Alwyn RJ. Alwyn use a flash to get away. He's still alive. And look at ISG. They want to fight back and they succeed. Ooh. This is a 0 2 trade. They really did homework, you know? They tied in the boost and ambush for the right timing. The JNG Esports will. Dive into this tower in three minutes, and they really did a great job in this, this kind of a push. Yeah, like for Isuru, they are they also have two members on the top, right? And they just first hide their vision in that bushes, like let you know, give you that kind of understanding that there's only foods alone on the top. Yeah, but that's not the truth. That's, That's true. a trap. It was surprised me about this kind of movement and Isuru's day actually improved a lot from oh, this tournament. Things are getting interesting for today. That's exactly what we want to see in week two, right? Yeah. After like the week one, everyone just know each other, know their rivals a lot more. And they try to do some homework. It's like we mentioned before, and they will find the gap from uh, between the other teams and they will fight for it, will improve it. 
And look at the blue side. Will they defend the, the blue buff once again? That's quite hard. If they so had nothing to do, mm. they could just hand it over to Genji. They can't contest them right now. Because the Genji, they call, uh, they, they, they have gathering together. Pay attention again, five versus two. Like Genji always have those like numbers in advantage, right? Mm. They are really, they really prefer to play in those like big team five playing style. Yeah. So the ladies and we joined the team fight at the stage of this time, only five minutes. Mm. Wait, then we joined the team fight and yeah. it worked as a, 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 a as a unite. Yeah. And look at the bottom side, Lita will face a lot of trouble. Flash will save him, but lights or not. How many ultimates they used on console U? Check it, two flashes, ultimate, mm -hmm. two, and then everyone just rush to concert you, but check what food is doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love this man. He plays so aggressive, but I think that was a kind of waste <laughs> for use the flash in the for, for second contract for concert you. The yeah. only kill. That's what we know. That Jin is being quite decisive. They're trying to gain themselves some advantages and they want to gank the concert U. But the problem is maybe they can like save some save some skills. Uh, save some skills for the next yeah. time. Because uh, only concert U in the turret, uh, under the turret. So this is a biggest problem uh, for the JNG. They should uh, figure out more solution to doing this kind of gank, this kind of gank. And also, if they want to like fully use their composition, they really rely oh, on the look flash. Look at Fei for second contrast and connect with Kai. So this is a kill for the Genji. Mm -hmm. And we can see Genji try to clean the minion waves in advance. They don't want to let those minion waves pass the riverside. They won't let Fuzi to have any chances to try to take down any towers on the side lane. That's what they're doing right now. They're keeping the pressure alive. Mm -hmm. A gigantic pressure. Now Four comes to the ISG. Goes to Genji. Wow, but as for his studios, I'm quite satisfied with their performance for today. Actually, yeah. this is quite good. Mm -hmm. Look at Kai. Oh. Just melted Kai down within a second. <laughs> yeah, like Kai just vanished. Okay, for second contract, Ata is being taken very low, so that will be another kill. Back over to Lady Sun. Now Genji is being unstoppable right now. And also, here's the problem. Oh, first oh, the flash Willis. out. Oh, aggressive. Mm. Well, he's been like, I want you down. Now, yeah, instantly put your hands up. <laughs> and Wayley actually have a good individual ability for that, and sure. it shows a lot in this game. Um, uh, if we give a quick review in those wildcard qualifier, we can see like Wayley always doing great job during those laning phase. Mm -hmm. He always can win himself the upper hand in the winning phase. Create a lot of pressure during the laning phase. Mm. Using minion waves, they can easily take down this tower on the top. Yeah. So what's gonna be the next for GNG? The next may be the mid lane out of the turret. Mm. Force uh. out the mid lane tower. And for it to do, they're trying oh. to find some charm. Flash of a second conjure with the fallen gun. Look at the combo. It's so success. It's so success of this team fight. This is a 1-1 one -one trade, but Genji won this team fight Red since they used the support. Sacrifice Faye to take down Shemongxi, and Shemongxi is going to be only hero for his troops that can easily clean up those minion waves. Yeah, so there was a homework from uh, for only three minutes, but the next is the big problem for the ISG. <laughs> Never more. They will have no more homework for the next time. They really did some research, but not enough for them to defeat the Genji right now. Yeah. And for Genji, I really want to highlight Illusion, mm -hmm. right? My Slenu is quite tricky, and also this, like, he's under such a huge pressure 
when he did this rotation as a, what we call substitution, right? Yeah. And he came up, he used his own ability, own skill to gain himself a huge advantage in the early game, in the opening. And now he's doing a great job as an assassin. I think he handled so well. Mm. Not bad. He's not like... He's, he, he, I, I can't feel like any tension or like he's been nervous. Yeah. I can't smell like any tension for him. There will be a lot of... Oh, look at the flash. Jump inside and Lam will have the kill. And then he will kill Samungsi in that time a lot. One versus three and four. He will be killed kind of not. He will got strike back. But what does it matter? The high ground is being destroyed by the TNG, so it's worth for this. And as we just speak into Illusion, he just used his flash. Mm -hmm. Got a really nice crowd control. Yeah. And look at that helping RJ split push once again. <laughs> Use the flash to get himself away. Yeah. Well, you already saw, uh, well, you already see like who's using his flash, help to initiate, yeah. help to engage. Uh, wow. Right now that it's a retreat. <laughs> <laughs> to save him alive. This one, wow. A lot of combos just come inside. Say, say. It's quite a dangerous place because uh, there's no way out. Surrounded by three turrets, so <laughs> you yeah. have to die here. Just trade as much as you can. Because he's going like too deep. He's like first aiming for console U, and after taking down console U, he's gonna be he's he's already been so far away yeah. from his members. Uh, look at Kai, invincible warrior has been triggered and he's so tanky. Look at now he's been striped back by Kai. Never underestimate the the Kai when he's using his ultimate, gaining himself extra defense. Mm. Okay, I win RJ. Surrounded by he three. It. Once again, he used the ultimate to get himself away. He's being spot, so he needs to retreat. So here's the question, like for Jinji, uh, now they've got like two high ground towers in advantages. And for Yusuf, they're really trying to use this um, split up push strategy, try to use Futsu to buy themselves more time. But the problem is, after he's being spot, Jinji is just, just gonna go for him mm -hmm. without any doubt, without any hesitation. Yeah, if you want to surround back and strike back, you have mm, you have to gain yourself more gold. Mm. Uh, look at the concert, you Eternity Blade and Shadow Reaper. And you have to build up the the Succubus Club because Illusion create a lot of threat to him. Yeah, but the problem is check the go different in Marksman. Actually yep. there's like 5000, right? Mm. 5000 go wow. lead goes to Lady Sun. So when he's going to be on top of Flash for second contract. Look at the damage out there. The output from the Lady Sun is so huge. And they bring in this minion waste, but this is going to be a little bit hard for them since Shimon is still alive. Yeah. Ow, Futsu, I love Once this again. guy. I love this guy. You're just gonna keep keep working on it. Keep working. Once again, oh, he oh, takes oh. this down and then the ultimate to trigger use the second oh, team and get stripe and or not. Oh, Without oh. some item, that would be a difficult thing for them. And look at the Liverpool falling, got your jump inside and a constant use being emulated. And now on the other side. Jinji tried to use this to head into this crystal. They won the first victory and congratulations to GNG. Mm. But at least our win still took down a tyrant turret. Uh, That's a good news.